Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be testing out a bunch of brand new drugstore makeup. I think the drugstore is about to have so many new makeup releases now with the new year, so I'm very excited. But today I have some stuff here that I purchased, some stuff from PR, and just some random things that I wanted to test out that are affordable. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely grab a snack and subscribe to my channel for three new videos every single week. And let's get into a full face of drugstore first impressions. Okay, so I already did my brows, primed my lids. Now let's start off with eyeshadow. So I have two new eyeshadow palettes here from Profusion. I'm so excited about these. I love Profusion shadows. They're Most of their palettes that I've tried, I feel like they're all really good and they're so affordable. So these were sent to me and they look super cute. So I have the Glam palette and then this is the Nude palette. I think I'm gonna use a mixture of both. So this is the Glam one. I kinda wanna do something green today. This looks really, really pretty. Good pan sizes too and you get a mirror. And then this is the Nude palette. So a couple more warm tones in here. I feel like they both have a good mix of warm shades. Let's start off with this color right here called Fawn in the Nude Palette, and I'm just gonna apply that as my neutral blending shade. Ooh, I like this color. It's just very, very soft. Ooh, that's a good color. By the way, don't mind my hair. There's just, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with it. I have it in like this awkward, like high bun. Messy high bun, because I'm just like, honestly, I'm like getting bored with my hair again. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do with it? So I just put it up. It's also very hot in here. I was gonna straighten it. It is extremely hot in this room today. I don't know what's up, but these lights and everything, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing my hair today. So this is what we have. <laughs> okay, so I really like this color. It's blending in really nicely. I'm gonna go in obviously with other shades, but so far, so good. So I'm gonna take the color Rich in the Glam palette now, because this one's a little bit of a darker brown. I'm gonna add that kind of right on the outer crease a little bit. Kind of like tapping in the color. Okay, that's cute. It's really soft. It looks like you have to build it up a little bit. Yeah, the colors look a little bit powdery and like even when you blend them, they're a little powdery, but Definitely doable. We'll see how the shimmers are. So I think I want something a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take this color actually. Indulge. Ooh, we love to indulge. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color Oasis in the palette. Kind of a soft peachy color and I'm just gonna run that right on the edges. And blend everything out a little bit. Let's go in with a shimmer. I think I want to do this green. This looks really pretty. So I guess we can start off with not spraying our brush just to see how it looks. But let's just see how it looks with no spray. So the color is there, but it's just not really there there you know what i mean i feel like spraying your brush is always a must with all shimmers because they just don't really pop as much when you don't so i'm gonna just use my nyx bear with me spray see that helps so much i'm just gonna focus this color on the lid I don't want to bring it up in the crease or anything. That color is pretty, but again, you do need to spray it. But I love this green. These are like my favorite kinds of tones. Let's try this color noir right here. Ooh, my makeup table is a mess. Okay, let's try out this color right here, the black shade. Not bad. It's definitely showing up. Again, you just have to build up these colors and kind of work with them. Blend it out. Oh, actually, when you build it up, it, it is actually very black. Okay, cute. I actually like that. All right. So there is a little bit of fallout, but that's nothing a makeup wipe can't fix. I'm going to take this color up here, which is called Superstar. It almost looks like a light greenish gold. And I'm just going to take my finger. See how pretty that is? And I'm going to just put that kind of right in the center. Ooh. Ooh, there's a motorcycle outside, but that looks really pretty. 
my goodness. Okay, these palettes are only $8, you guys. So when I say you have to build them up and you know, some of them aren't super pigmented right off the bat, that's actually a really good deal, like nine shades for $8. Not the worst palette, but it's not like the greatest thing ever, but it's not bad for $8, you know what I mean? Like if you don't mind working with the shades a little bit, building them up, it's definitely not bad for literally nine shades for $8. Okay, so now for mascara, I actually have a new one, surprisingly. This is the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara from e.l.f. So to be honest, I love e.l.f. so much. This is my favorite drugstore makeup brand, but their mascaras are not my favorite. But I saw this and it looked really, really good. So this kind of reminds me of a CoverGirl wand a little bit. It's like that rubberized sort of wand. Let's try it out. So I'm going to wiggle and then coat these lashes. I'm going to be able to tell how this really looks when I do my lower lashes because I'm going to wear falsies and everything today. Looks like it's combing through them really nicely though. I like how the wand also doesn't feel overly hard on the root of my lashes. I should have curled my lashes. I'm going to curl the other side and see if that makes a difference. So this lash curler is from Dollar Tree actually. Okay. Can you see? Like, my lashes are so tiny, but do you see? Like, I feel like it separated them really well. I will say, though, this mascara is very black, and it's better than the other mascaras that I've tried from e.l.f. I think their other mascaras are like 2 or $3, though, so this one's definitely like a much more upgraded version. I'm very excited about this. This is the Ilore London Line in Lash Lash Adhesive Liner. So I've been really loving their magnetic lashes. They're so good if you're on the go and you don't want to deal with lash glue. But as far as their lash adhesive liner, the only one that I've tried that's kind of like this is from Kiss, and I really love it. They have a black one and a clear one that I'm obsessed with, especially on like those really simple makeup days. So I saw this one at Target and I was like, okay, I need that because I love their magnetic lashes so much. So I feel like these are going to be good, hopefully. So shake well before you use, apply line and lash liner to lash line. Step two, apply any false lash. So it doesn't have to be an Ilor eyelash. The ones that I'm going to use are from Salon Perfect, the 662s. I don't, I've don't. i never tried these before, at least I don't remember, but I saw them at Walmart and they looked really pretty and I love how like thick and black these are. Okay, so I'm gonna go on Instagram because I'm pretty sure Desi Perkins did a video with the liner and I wanna see how many coats she did. Okay, so I just watched Desi's Instagram video and she did two coats with the black. She said if you're doing the clear, you need three coats, but with this one, two coats should be good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think you have to let it dry. I don't see why you would. It doesn't really say, so I'm gonna just pop on the lashes. Oh wow, they're sticking. Yay! This was actually so easy. Okay, so you need two coats and then you don't have to let it dry. So that's good. I'll let you guys know how these lashes last throughout the day, if the inner corners lift or anything, but this is really good so far. I'm very impressed. Okay, so far everything is really good. I love the eyeshadow palette. I feel like once you work with it a little bit more, the colors appear to be a little bit more pigmented. Just take your time, get past that first layer and you'll be good, especially again for an $8 palette. I don't think it's bad. This lash glue liner, I'm obsessed. I love how black it is and that was just so easy. Like I love things that are just easy and when you don't have to deal with lash glue that's always a good time let's do some primer so i got these tinted primers from essence these are the instant blur effect natural matte finish primers and i have this one in medium beige so it's supposed to be a lightweight mousse texture with a velvety feel that makes pores optically disappear while leaving skin looking smooth with a natural matte finish oh it does feel really soft it has like a really light tint. it smells good you can kind of see the tint there a little bit, can you? Okay, now it's in my hair. It actually feels like hydrating on the skin. So the tint isn't really like too intense, which I think is good. It does give you a really soft finish to the skin, I will say. So I feel like the tint is very light. Like it's not gonna give you coverage or anything. You can see like, you can still see my blemishes and everything, but I do feel like that gave me a really soft, very light matte finish. It doesn't feel drying. It actually feels very hydrating when you first apply it. And I feel like it blends into the skin really nicely. It's actually not a bad primer, so. I like that so far. Then I have the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This one I have in the shade Light 26N. And I also have a powdered foundation. I never really use powdered foundations because I prefer liquid, but I got this one sent to me from Koki. It's the pressed powder foundation. So we're gonna try this out, but I'm gonna do concealer first. I don't really know how powdered foundation routines work. 
honestly. So I'm gonna do concealer, I guess, on my under eyes, and then I will set that and then use powder foundation for the rest of my face. So it's supposed to create a bright and flawless complexion with the flick of a pen. It's a buildable brightening concealer that you can use to highlight all over your face. And it's supposed to highlight key features. And it also says to shake before using. So it looks like this. So it's like literally a pen. Definitely a highlighting pen, for sure. Doesn't really smell like anything. Feels creamy. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I don't really feel like it claims to be. Like it claims to be a like brightening concealer, which I do feel like it brightens the eyes. I think this could be a concealer that you go over top of your normal concealer, like if you want a bright look, because it doesn't look like it has a lot of coverage. So maybe it could be that extra step that you take if you want a bright under eye, or honestly, you could just use your normal concealer and just get a really light shade if you like a light look. Now I guess we can go in with powder foundation like is that how this works so I have the pressed powder foundation it says soft matte soft blurring effect and silky texture and I got this one in golden tan from Koki Cosmetics which you can get Koki actually at Sally's Beauty Rite Aid so this is what this looks like I'm actually going to use the little puff that comes with it just to kind of see how this looks hopefully this color is not too dark Actually, I don't think it will be. Let me zoom in because I want you guys to be able to see. Okay, you can kind of see the tint right there. Let's see if it covers. Because I have these little acne scars here. Because unfortunately, I'm a picker. I pick at my pimples, which is not something that I recommend doing. Okay, first of all, I have something on my neck here. Let's see if it covers it up. Looks like a little pimple. Oh, it actually does. Okay. This doesn't really cover up too much, you can see. So maybe spot concealing might help. It is very soft though, I will say. I do agree with that claim. This color is too dark for me. Oh my goodness, Jasmine, what did you do? Um, dang, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, let's just keep going. I didn't even set my face or my under eyes. So I need to do that. I'm trying to like balance this out. But like I said, it is very soft. I think the color is just off, honestly. Wow. This is really soft. I think the coverage is okay. I guess for a powdered foundation, it's not bad. I'm gonna blend out those creases. And I'm gonna set under my eyes, I'm gonna use the Essence My Skin Perfecting Loose Powder. So I actually only tested this out once in a previous video that I did where I tried out drugstore makeup you don't like, and this was a product that one of you guys did not like. And I have this one in the shade Fair. I liked it, actually. I don't have too much experience with powdered foundation though, I will say. I normally just use liquid because it's a little bit, I guess for me, better. I, I just like the way that it looks on my skin. But I can see why people use powder foundations because it is very quick and it's easy. So I actually really did like this powder when I used it. I thought it was nice and brightening and it didn't feel drying on the skin and it was pretty nice. And I got this one in 05 Fair. They do have a couple shades in this. So with the powdered foundation, it does say on here, it's gonna give you a radiant, gorgeous complexion with a soft matte finish. I agree, this definitely has a soft matte finish. I feel like it's a little bit too dry for my skin right now. This is very soft though. It does look really, really pretty, very smoothing. So I agree with that. With the little puff that it comes with, I didn't really get a ton of like full coverage, but I will say the coverage is very natural so far. For bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with the Milani Silky Matte in 03. I don't have a new one, so I'm just gonna bronze my skin quickly. <gasps> I forgot that I had cream blushes. The powder foundation kind of threw me off a little bit. I wonder if I can still go over top right now. I really wanna try these out from Believe Beauty. You know what, let's just go with it, why not? It's a first impressions. Ideally, obviously, don't do this. Creams before powders, but you know what? Today we're making an exception. So these are the Believe Beauty Color Me Cream Blushes, and this one is in Tropical Sunset. So when I had these, I was like decluttering my makeup last week, and I thought that they were eyeshadows, and then I was like, oh, these are cream blushes. I'm gonna... Okay, pigment, hello. Oh, wow. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Holy cow. I like dug my brush in there, and I definitely absolutely do not need to do that so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just use my Fenty brush I'm gonna just add yeah wow 
that's so pigmented. I'm just gonna add it right on top. Let's use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge then to blend it in. I'm surprised it looks actually this soft and nice over top of that powdered foundation. Let's do a little bit on the nose. Oh wow, that looks really good. It's extremely pigmented, completely threw me off guard. Like this is more pigmented than like a Fenty cream blush. And Believe Beauty is available at Dollar General and everything is $5 and under and this is incredibly gorgeous. Like I'm shocked right now. Now we can bronze the skin. So again, I'm gonna use the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I didn't see any new drugstore bronzers. How crazy was that? So intense. Well, I used a lot of blush and like, I feel like I don't even need to set this blush honestly because it has like a soft matte finish. I'm not gonna set it because I think we're good to go here. So I'm just gonna add some highlighter. I got this one from Pixie at Ulta. So this is the Glowy Powder Radiance Powder. And honestly, the reason I got this is because it was on sale for $9. So I got this one in Creamy Gold. And this highlighter brush, I always get questions about it. It's from AOA Studio, which is Shop Miss A. I got it in a brush kit and it came with 10 other brushes and this was like $10, well, the brush kit. But I love this highlighting brush, it's so good. And and it just applies your highlighter perfectly. Wow, this is really pretty. Ooh, it's like a light white gold, but it's very, very smooth. Wow, that's so pretty. I love this, this is very pretty. The inner corner of my lash is lifted a little bit. I just added a little bit more of the liner. I feel like I didn't do enough liner in the inner corners of my eyes. This one's lifting too. And I just used eye drops as well. So that probably kind of loosened that up a little bit because my eyes are so dry. Let me do the lips and then we will move into the rest of the eyes. So I got these new lipsticks from Milani and PR. So these are cruelty free and vegan and they look so pretty. You can see you get a bunch of shades. These look so good. So these are their color fetish shine lipsticks. I already took this color out of here because I'm like, uh, yeah, I need that. So the lightest color that I have here is in 110 Lustful. I always use a lip liner, but for today, let's not do that so we can see the true color. I just wiped off the lip balm and stuff that I had on my lips. Ooh, ooh, these smell nice. Okay, it's kind of hard to like make this look perfect because of the kind of applicator of the lipstick. Like it's, you definitely need a lip liner. You need to clean this up a little bit. I don't like this color on me. I feel like it's not very flattering. It's definitely different. I feel like than this on here, it's more kind of like a rose. Um, yeah, I don't like this color, but the formula is really nice. It smells really nice. It's very pigmented, which I do like. It kind of feels like a tinted lip balm, but with more pigment than your traditional tinted lip balm. Okay, so for me, that's out. I'm gonna use the other color in Tied Up 220. Okay, this is cute. This is more me. This is just very difficult to like make your lips like you see like it's really easy to like make this look messy is what i'm trying to say i like this color this is like pretty for every day i just wish this was a little bit thinner for the eyes i'm going to jump into this color indulge and i'm going to smudge that on the lower lashes then i'm going to use the pixie highlighter for the inner corners Spray the brush. Oh, sorry about the blinds. The sun's coming in. I'm going to be switching up this background very soon. I know I've said that like since the beginning of this year, but you know, we'll get there. This highlighter is really pretty. I do like this a lot actually. So if you could find this at your local Ulta on sale, check it out. It's really, really smooth and I like color and the formula is really nice. The last thing I'm gonna do for the eyes is just some lower lash mascara. I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. one. Wow, this is actually really lengthening and separating. I don't see a ton of volume with this mascara, but I will say it definitely separates and adds length, which I like, honestly. I'd rather have that than volume. Wow. I like this a lot actually and I normally don't love brushes like this for mascaras because I feel like sometimes they can be a little bit 
rough on your lash, but okay, my lashes aren't amazing, but that looks really good. Like, um, loving it. So the last and final thing that I have is setting spray. This is from Pop Beauty. I'm not 100% sure where this is sold. I feel like I've seen it before at CVS, but don't quote me on that. But this is their makeup magnet setting mist. So this says it's supposed to deliver hydration, nutrients, depuff, energize, and soothe your skin. This is also a cruelty-free and a vegan. It's supposed to like be like a magnet to the skin, but still delivering that hydration. And I feel like I need some hydration today. So this is perfect, hopefully. Let's test out the spritzer. Okay. Oh, it smells minty. It smells like gum. Oh, that feels good. Very minty. It literally smells like gum or like toothpaste. But it smells good. Okay, so the look is complete. It's actually been about like an hour or so. I took a little break, ate something. So I did reapply the lip color. Overall, I have some hits and misses. So I'm gonna give you guys some quick speed reviews on what I liked, what I didn't like. Let's start off with clearly my lashes. I don't know if you can tell actually, but they are lifting in the inner corners and the outer corners. So I did use eye drops though. My eyes are just super dry. I'm always using eye drops, like usually in the middle of my videos because they just get so incredibly dry. But I will definitely keep trying this and I'll keep you guys updated on it. Maybe the clear one will be better than this I don't know I mean at first when I did apply it it did feel like my lashes were in place like it didn't feel like they were coming off but maybe the eye drops had something to do with it and it probably loosened it up a little bit I will say though kind of like my first impression I do prefer the kiss lash glue liner over this one from my Laura however I prefer I magnetic lashes over kiss magnetic lashes so it's kind of like opposites a little bit I do like these lashes from salon perfect I think these are really pretty at first I was a little iffy about them but now that I have them on I feel like they're very voluminous very black and I like how wispy they are so these I like if you're ever in Walmart Salon Perfect 62s. I like these. I'm really loving this e.l.f. mascara. This is so nice. Very lengthening. It separates your lashes really nicely. I love the wand. The formula is really black and I'm loving this. So if you're looking for a new affordable mascara, this is really good. And I'm very picky. And like I said, I normally don't really like e.l.f. mascaras, but this one I feel like is definitely the best one that they have. I really like these Profusion eyeshadow palettes. I think these are really cute, especially for $8. At first I was like, eh. but the more that I use them, the more that I realize that they're actually really nice. And you kind of just have to work through the first layer and then I feel like the colors are a little bit more pigmented. The mattes you kind of do have to work with and build them up but I feel like for an $8 palette it's not bad. The shimmers are really nice especially when using them like with your finger they feel really soft and if you spray your brush you'll be fine. So if you're a beginner or you just don't want to spend a lot of money on a new eyeshadow palette I think this is cute and I'm excited to dabble into some of these other colors over here. This black is also really nice the more that you build it up. So I like these for eight bucks nine shades you can't really beat it. Okay moving into the complexion so I really like this tinted primer from Essence. I thought this was really nice. It was very smoothing. I don't really see a whole lot of a tint to it, but I will say it's very like soft matte finish, but I do feel like it definitely smoothed out my skin. So I really like this. I don't like this e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I feel like now, especially my eyes, if they kind of look a little bit dark under here. Like I feel like the concealer almost looks like it faded or something. So not crazy about this. I definitely prefer their other camo concealers. If you want a bright look, I feel like you can get that with any of your favorite concealers. Just get a lighter shade. It could be one or two shades lighter and you're able to get that look but still keep the coverage. I really like this Essence Loose Perfecting Powder in the shade Fair. I feel like it's very brightening, it's very smooth, and I think this is nice. I did take a photo with Flash because I was curious to see if the powder foundation was gonna give me a white cast, and I think it looks really good. I mean, this is not a cute picture, but like, I don't think that the skin looks bad. So I really, really like this a lot, and I'm also really liking the Koki Powder Foundation. It is a little too drying on my skin. This might be more ideal if I use more hydrating products underneath. I think it'll be much better, but I will say it is a very smooth powdered foundation. It's really, really nice. The coverage I don't think is full coverage. I feel like this is a light to medium coverage powdered foundation. Definitely does build up, but it's not full coverage. But like I said, it is extremely smoothing. You guys need to go out and get these cream blushes from Believe Beauty. I'm actually shocked. I did not expect this to be so pigmented and so smooth. And like I put this over top of a powdered foundation and it still looks and blended into the skin seamlessly. Like I'm actually shocked. This is comparable, if not even better, to like a Fenty cream blush. Like it's so crazy. The formula just really blew me off my seat. The highlighter from Pixi was beautiful. I really like the color. I like the formula. This was really nice. Definitely would recommend this if you can get it on sale because I don't know how much it is full price, but I'm sure it's expensive, but it's nice. It's really, really nice. The lipstick from Milani is nice. It's not my favorite. It's not like a to die for product. I'm not like obsessed with it. It's nice. It's pigmented. It feels nice. For me, I'd rather just either use a liquid lipstick or a regular lipstick. Like I love Milani's color statement lipsticks. Those are incredible. And then this spray from Pop Beauty felt really nice. It was very 
cooling, very hydrating, and I feel like it gave me just what I needed with my skin. So I'll keep using this, keep you guys updated, but I do like this. So that is it for this first impressions testing new makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've tried any of these products, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope this was a little bit helpful. And if there's anything else that you guys want me to test out, let me know down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!